welcome to the Alan Driscoll Experience. Here we are on a pleasant day, ready to record, and we're all having a great time. So let me tell you what this show is about, the Alan Driscoll Experience. It's been my experience that I meet a lot of professionals. I meet entertainers, I meet dancers, I meet writers. We have a book writer living in our, one of our buildings. And uh, all these people have a wonderful life. The part that we see is on stage or it's under the lights. But they also have another side, the side that is them when they're done performing, when they get home. What do they do for themselves? Do they have something as a hobby? That's what we're going to discover today. So we've got a great performer coming up for you. I'll mention him in just a moment. But first, at the end of each song, each show that is, I ask for a request. Well, I've been requested to do an original song. So here's a song called Without Her Love. What would life be without her love? Her love. What would life be without her love? What would life be without her love? Her love. What would life be without her love? Would a morning sun be as bright each day? Would I leap from my bed in the same old way? Smile through the glass on the window in my room Taste the morning air, would I sing at the little tune? Would I laugh at the world with all of its strife? Kiss another girl, would I build another life? Would I give all the love I have inside of me? Would I find happiness or would my life cease to be? What would life be without her love, her love? What would life be without her love? What would life be without her love? Her love. What would life be without her love? I hope that I can find with this troubled heart of mine a sky just as blue as I've seen until this time. Tiny blade of grass between my fingertips Will it always be green? Can I kiss it with my lips? The laughter of children as they run about and play Will I find happiness? Will it never pass my way? Will I know what it is as my heart beats with joy To hold her to my breast as a child holds a toy? What would life be without her love? Her love what would life be without her love? What would life be without her love? Her love. What would life be without her love? Without her love. Anyway, as I was mentioning earlier, we have got a great guest coming up. His name is Grant Luchaft. He's a one-man band. You're going to love it. Something different for us. Hang on. We'll be right back. We're back. I mentioned earlier that we have a great guest on the show today. His name is Grant Lutschaft. I have seen Grant perform, thought of him as a one-man band. I'm finding out a little differently. Grant has another fellow that works with him, which we'll talk about. Grant is here today, and he's going to do some playing for us. We're going to have a good conversation. So, Grant, welcome to the show. Thank you. The idea of the show, and uh, Grant, I've explained this to the folks, but uh, my experience, the Alan School ex experience, is that we musicians have another life, stuff that we love to do and things that we do for our own hobbies. And you're a good example of a guy who's got other interests. But before we get to that, I'm wondering if you'll tell us about your musical career. How did you first get into it? Uh, when did you start? You've come up with some unique ideas with your, your pedals. Give me a basic rundown. 
Hmm, well, I guess uh, out of high school, um, started touring around with some bands and uh, toured Canada back and forth. Hmm. And then um, after you get to be in your mid-20s, you get tired of hotels and that kind of life. So wanting more of a social life, I hubbed up in Winnipeg. Yeah, well, I know that feeling. I spent a little time on the road myself. Mm -hmm. So you're not originally from here, or? Northwestern Ontario, like you. Oh, right, yeah, really? Yeah. Where from? Uh, well, I grew up in Vermilion Bay and oh. then moved to Dryden after that. Well, I'll be done. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. My bass player, Richard, is from Dryden as well. Oh, okay. Now, there you go. There's a nice bit of a, a cross, cross paths, you know. So you've, uh, you're here in Winnipeg. You're happy to be here. I've seen Grant perform many times, and he's just a wonderful performer. Great variety of music unique concept of how he presents himself. Tell us uh, about your partner there. You have a partner that plays with you. Yes, uh, Nazim Lakay. He, um, he's a bass player and uh, he joined me probably about 10 years ago or so. Oh, wow. Um, really, uh, really great player. He came from, he's got a, a good looking resume. His background in music uh, coming from uh, South Africa is, is pretty unique. He's got a really uh, eclectic uh, world sound to him. Uh, yeah. If I could describe it, I would say uh, the Paul Simon Graceland album is oh, yeah. what Nazim sounds well, like. And also a beautiful album, good yeah. thing you mentioned that. Yeah. And I have met Nazim, I've met Nazim uh, performing with Grant, and he's a great guy, you're right, mm -hmm. nice fellow. Well, uh, that many years together, you have a history, you know, like you've been playing that long together, you know each other, you feel, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you feed off each other, for sure. Yeah, we, um, we don't do a lot of talking on stage, but we, uh, we communicate pretty easily. Uh, a lot of singing, a lot of yeah, harmonies. Doing a lot of things on the fly without talking about it, and you can just wow. do that after a while. Yeah. That's great. That's what it's all about, performing. Like you mentioned, we wing it a lot, right? Sure, yeah. Performers, yeah. that's the real performer who can take it and keep rolling with it and make it even better than when we first started, you know? The evening goes hopefully, on, yeah. hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen, Grant, uh, would, you, would you mind playing a song for us? I know the folks would love to hear you perform. And, sure. Uh, here we go, folks. We'll get Grant set up, and he's going to play a song for you. Oh, 
train was mine I bet I'd move it on A little farther down the line Off of Folsom Prison That's where I want to stay And i will let that lonesome whistle Blow my blues away Well, now that was a fantastic performance, Grant. Just a, just a beautiful job. Johnny Cash. Can't go wrong with Johnny Cash, because no. we all love Johnny Cash. In any crowd. Oh, they'll, no they'll kidding. Eat it up. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and you know what? And I really appreciated the way you did the guitar, the intro with the guitar. You could just hear that engine just starting to chug along, you know? Beautiful. Harmonica. Now, and I've seen uh, Grant perform, but uh, I did not uh, know that you played the harmonica. I must have missed that simply because I wasn't there long enough. But I have stopped in to visit and enjoy the music. And uh, you got those, those kick pedals. We'll have to talk more about that, how you developed those and how that got into your act, you know. And mm -hmm. The first time I'd ever seen anybody using that was when I saw you. Um, we're going to get to the part that I really like about our show now. This is the, the Alan Driscoll experience part, where I find I met Grant musically and heard him perform, and now, after talking, I find out that Grant has other interests and hobbies and things that he likes to do. So, he has mentioned his dog. Now, I don't even know what kind of dog this is. It's a different name, and it's a big dog. So, Grant, would you please talk to me about the things you do after you're performing? Tell, tell me about your dog and... Well, at about 2 in the morning, I'll get home to my dog, Django, uh, waiting for me there. Uh, he's a great Pyrenees. Big dog, big white, 135 pounds of love. He's a big, gentle giant. Is he a long hair? Is yeah, he, he looks something like a retriever, or maybe like a, a white version of a, a Newfoundlander. Oh, okay. Yeah, big, long-haired uh, giant. So the gentle giant, a, people call him. Gentle giant. Yeah. Pyrenees, okay. So the, the, uh, I understand he pulls you, he takes you out in the wilderness yeah, in the winter? Yeah, we do some, uh, it's called skijoring. And uh, I put a, a harness on myself and a harness on him and a bungee cable in between us, some cross-country skis, and away we go down the river. So. Oh, that's fat. So yeah. you, you, I understand you live on the east end of town, the east side of town? Yeah, I'm right so by the Seine River, so I can uh, basically boot right from my front door down to the river, and within minutes you forget you're in a city. So. Oh, yeah. That's great. Well, that, that would be a good feeling, being yeah. so close to the river and yeah. having your dog, your pal. Yeah. So we get over a couple, maybe uh, at least once a week, but yeah. Oh, good stuff. Mm -hmm. So this probably hasn't been the best winter for you, though, all the weather considered, you know. It hasn't Not been the coldest or enough. Not too bad, surprisingly. Bad. Like, I got out, um, I got out uh, a few days ago, like the day after we had like plus five, plus six weather, and the ice was still intact, so... Good enough. Good. Yeah. Well, now, okay, that's great. I'm, you're, uh, I've seen some of your video stuff, and uh, we have some on hand of your downhill. Is that downhill skiing? Is that snowboarding? I'm on a snowboard yeah. on these videos, yeah. So you're taking these vid these pictures that I'm seeing. You've got this. Is this I a I didn't camera have mount? a GoPro. I know I, I just yeah. was trying to st steady my iPhone while I was going down the mountain, but just to... Done, on your, done with your phone? Yeah. Oh, yeah. here, I thought you had a camera mounted on your helmet and all that stuff. And no, it's pretty shaky. It's, yeah, but it's, it was great. I just wanted to get a... Uh, an idea of uh, what it's like to be up on a mountain because a lot of people I tell them I'm going out to Whistler and that and they just think it's it's frightening but I'm like once you're up there it's just like a smaller hill but there's more space you wow. know? <laughs> that's great now you, as we talked earlier you mentioned about your feet and uh, how you kind of developed your your pedals so this mm -hmm. directly I related to your your downhill skiing and pretty much yeah. oh, I was that happen? I, I got a job at a ski hill for a few years and where um, I would play during the afternoon and during the evening when they had uh, the hill open and I would be skiing at the time, I wasn't snowboarding yet, and I would go straight from the hill to the stage with my big ski boots on and I'd be bouncing my feet on the floor with my ski boots and that made it a nice beat and then after I left that, that gig, 
I missed that. My, my shoes wouldn't cut it, so I had to come up with something to give me more boom. So that's when I came up with those, those drums. So, so did you, you, you put an electronic pad and you... Yeah, it's basically, it's called a piezo trigger, something you can get at Radio Shack for a few bucks, and I just soldered it to a couple cables and plug it into a, a real drum electronic machine. So it, it basically collects the, uh, the hits and, and the signal, and then to, from that machine I can just decide what sound that signal is going to have. So oh. I've got a kick drum and a snare drum. So. Well, that's great. Well, it does sound great, and maybe we can get you to do another song for us. Sure. What about this uh, good old rock and roll song? I'm thinking of Rave On. Yeah. Can yeah. you do that one? I like it. Let's do it. All right. Here we go once more with Grant doing Rave On. Well, everybody's talking, saying you make me rave on. Even my whole grandma saying you make me rave on. I don't want to have a baby. I'm proud to rave on. I guess God made you for me just so I can rave on. was fantastic. A Buddy Holly song, Ray Vaughn, Grant Luchaft. Called him a one-man band. Turns out he has a partner, Nazim, and it was, it was great to know and just wonderful to have him as a guest. Thank you, Grant, and we hope to see you again in the future. I know all of you folks have enjoyed the show, and we have lots more coming, more shows, a lot of different artists from our wonderful province of Manitoba. We'll have some dancers, some painters, and talking about a lot of their hobbies and the things they like to do. As we close off our show, I would remind you, please log on to our site and get to us and let me know about your favorite songs, because I'd be glad to play them. I'll even try to play them right, not make too many mistakes. I leave you now with the theme song from the movie, what was the name of the movie? 
the sting. There it is. I lost it there for a second. That's why these people are here to help me through these moments. <laughs> the movie The Sting, a great, great, great movie. Robert Redford, Robert Shaw, Paul Newman, great actors. A Scott Joplin number called The Entertainer. <laughs> 